from Las Vegas, this is Cruise News Today with Doug Parker. Good morning. Here's your cruise news for Thursday, January 4th. Celebrity Cruises has taken a unique stance in solo cruising by charging higher rates for solo travelers. While other cruise lines like NCL are introducing more solo staterooms with lower pricing to attract single travelers, Celebrity Cruise as well is doing the opposite, doing a strategy where solo cruisers will pay more than double occupancy rates. A member of the Celebrity Sales team said that this is to offset the loss of revenue that a second guest would normally generate through onboard spending. One of the mock bookings we did for a seven-night cruise in the Caribbean for November of 2025, it was a balcony cabin priced for two people, was $3,054. That same sailing, same cabin for a solo guest, $3,433. Interesting dynamic there. And the Viking Sky has embarked on a 137-night world cruise, one of two global voyages offered by Viking this year. The itinerary includes 57 destinations, starting with Central America, transiting the Panama Canal up the West Coast, crossing the Pacific, over to Hawaii, and then Australia and New Zealand. The journey will then continue through Asia, Middle East, the Med, and then ends in England in May. The cruise price, if you're wondering, started at $60,000 per person. And here's a scary story that's related to cruise ships. The Australian Maritime Safety Authority has alerted pilots and cruise and cargo companies about counterfeit pilot ladders that were sold to them. Now, for reference, pilot ladders are what the harbor pilots use to board the ships from the pilot boat or vice versa when taking a ship from the dock out to the ocean. An investigation revealed that a Chinese import and export company had bought the ladders from Qingdao, copied them, and sold them as counterfeits along with fraudulent certificates. There is now legal action against this import-export company that is producing these fake ladders. Pilot ladders are typically made of wood and strong rope and are inspected annually. And I'm just going to say, coming from a family of harbor pilots and docking pilots, a very selfish and stupid move. And cruise line stocks were down on Wednesday. Carnival Corporation down 5.4%, 16.35. Royal Caribbean down 2.2%, 117.45. And Norwegian down 5.5%, 17.32. If you have a story, drop us a line. Tips at cruiseradio.net. Here in Las Vegas, about to go check out Luke Bryan at Resorts World. I'm Doug Parker with Cruise News Today. Have yourself a great Thursday. Cruise News Today is a production of Cruise Radio. Behind-the-scenes content and extras are now available at patreon.com slash cruiseradio.